Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go over to the door here. Madam Fleury, hello. If you're here, say something. Talk to the door. Yeah! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here, heart. Oh, Madame Fleury? Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punyo? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last, you poor dear. Is there something you need? How can you recognize someone by their footsteps? Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. My pony friends are inside, so they're in a pickle. Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, never leave me. I am in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out with my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it. So I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have the necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Gee whiz, that must be some nice necklace, huh? Hang on. You know what? It's weird. I'm sure I heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to m my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend the Punio heart. Don't worry, Madame Fury. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he's super. <laughs> Hint at the, you know, name Super Mario and whatnot that they've been doing uh, since the beginning. Eh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah. Huh? Did you just say nah? Uh, what's wrong with you? Let's go find your necklace. <laughs> I always like to select the funnier option. I mean, the option that I think will lead to uh, funnier dialogue, I guess you can say. Anyway, let's move on now. And, yep, yep, come on. How, how can I see the exclamation point, press the A button, and end up jumping? I, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> and they're still fighting over the sketch. <laughs> Silence you twitch. No, that's not, not now's not the time to get hung up on your stupid details. You must study the sketch. <laughs> oh, oh no, there we go. Wow, this Mario guy looks so man <laughs> manly. <laughs> so I guess she's in awe of the beauty that is Mario. <laughs> ah! He's Mr. Mustache! <laughs> now they're all realizing it. I don't believe this, Vivian. This is without a doubt all your fault. <laughs> Something tells me it wasn't her fault. I'm just, just saying there. <laughs> what? That's not fair. You're the one who had the. See? Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Yeah, I guess she just uses Vivian and as her punching bag just because. She's not willing to admit fault. <laughs> Poor Vivian. <clears throat> Alright. We gotta go meet up with them now, don't we? <laughs> Obviously she doesn't have all that much to say. Alright. Let's go back over to them and see what is up with them. Them and see, like, maybe, just maybe they would be willing to chat over, say, that necklace. Oh! Dang, enemy battles. <laughs> nope, nope, I don't, nope, stop it, bad, nope, not gonna happen, stop it, go away, yep, yeah. yeah. stop it, nope, can't go further than that, yeah, okay, I was just baiting it to go forward. Anyway, there they are. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Mario, skinny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. <laughs> and you know why? Because we are waiting for you. 
Oh, uh, uh, I remember. They're the ones with... Hey, wait a second. What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you. I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady. <laughs> How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The three... What, she's speaking? What? Shadow Beauties! No, that's wrong! <laughs> Fairy and you poop. What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties. I see two, but then there's you and your pug ugly. <laughs> oh, all right, sis, I'm sorry. It's just you always call us lovelies, and it's just a figure of speech. I've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, poor Vivian. Even though she's one of the baddies, I feel bad for her. Let's do it, my lovelies. Or rather, my lovely and ugly Marilyn Vivian. <laughs> The mighty of the sweet shadow sirens will be more than enough to win the day. And they don't seem all that willing to battle. Well, they're gonna battle anyway. This is the mini boss of the area of the shadow sirens. I'm gonna actually, actually have to tattle all three of them. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, it's most unlucky that our sight settled on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go! This. As you can tell, Vivian doesn't seem all that keen with the battling and... Oh shoot, I don't have Goombella out. Why do I always forget about Goombella? I swear... <laughs> Alright, let's tattle Vivian first and she see what she has to say. Something's going on here. That's Vivian. She's the long youngest. There's three Shadow Sirens. Actually, she is 10. Attack is 1. Defense is 0. She doesn't seem all that noteworthy. Uh, she's kind of cute, I guess. She might even be cuter than I am. I guess. Um, what am I thinking? <laughs> oh. Oh, aha! It's kind of hard to time their attacks, because it's like... Oh! Because it's, they don't really have all that predictable of a timing window, so to speak. It's something that you gotta get the hang of over time. Anyway, I should probably start attacking Vivian, I suppose. Oh, I can show you the power bounce now just keep jump and i totally failed that <laughs> uh, and i'm also failing to remember to do action commands because i got into the habit of uh trying not to do them because i didn't want to get into something too complicated early on in the walkthrough i just wanted to introduce things uh, gradually as we went through it but anyway that's marilyn she's a shadow siren beldum's younger sister next week she has 12 attack is two and defense is zero she changes up her attacks occasionally says so she here she's the toughest of the sisters so it would be best to defeat her first huh other than that she doesn't have any particularly outstanding characteristics so she's the attacker type of the uh, oh dang odd timing <laughs> Uh oh, oh jeez, two attack power increase. Oh, and uh, yeah, Beldum has special spells. Anyway, I'm gonna switch over to do the last tattle, and then when I go back over to Mario, I'm gonna show you that item that I got, the Ice Storm. That's Beldum, she's the only sister, the leader of the Shadow Sirens. Max HP is 9, attack is 1, and defense is 0. But her blizzard attack is an attack of 2. She can make her partners big and make us tiny, an attack of weird magic. The worst thing about her is that sinister snicker. She sounds totally evil. I mean, she's just the sort of person you want to avoid like the plague, you know? Indeedly do. So anyway, Ice Storm. Let's do this. This has a chance of freezing enemies as well as doing damage. Oh yeah, froze all of them. And that'll be marked based on the number of turns you see next to the little ice cube. Well, it's not an ice cube, it's a speech bubble with an ice crystal above their heads. Anyway, let's... Oh, 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 no. No, you don't. Bad audience member. Bad. Mm. 
All right, gotta kick out the bad audience. All right, let's take out Beldum just as explained. Notice that Goombella has the higher attack power. That is spectacular. And oh yeah, because Mario's attack power is lessened. When they un when they thaw from the ice, they actually take a little damage from that as well. Oddly, I don't really understand the physics of that, but okay. <laughs> uh, uh. So she's down. All right. Since Mario's back to normal, I should be able to do some nice damage. Well, or normal damage, I should say. What are you doing, Vivian? You twit! I'll never forgive you if you lose. I'm oh, sorry, sis. The only reason why I'm... Ah, I'm trying to get rid of the... Oh, jeez. The only reason why I'm trying to move the front ones out of the way is because it's kind of awkward to hit. Yeah, back characters, because I don't really have the penetrating powers of stuff in the future, and yeah, it's just a matter of strategy, that's what I'm saying here, but yeah. So, boot her out, and nah, it's up to you! So it's just us versus Vivian. <gasps> yeah! And I should be really focusing on stylish attacks now, so, jump. Oh, I was a little bit off on the second one there. Yeah, some attacks have more uh, than one stylish command. In the case of Goombella, hers is uh, when you jump, like right, right when she jumps, when you hit, then uh, when you're in the air, then when you land uh, again, it's basically like A, 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 A. It's a lot of A pressing, I swear. <laughs> and they're done. <laughs> oh, we are just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you helps who you would have won if you two pulled your weight. Both of you, prepare for a World Clash punishment session when we get home. And they drop... <laughs> they're tripping. And they drop the necklace. Alright. It's Flurry's necklace. Yes, let's take it to her. Let's do... Mm. Come on. I just want to go back to Flurry. Alright, we are back on the road. So yeah, I've, I've really got to get back into the habit of doing stylish commands because I got into the habit of not doing stylish commands for the sake of the the walkthroughs, explanations of stuff, and I didn't want to overcomplicate things, as I said before. But anyway, let's give her the necklace. Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly, heart. But you must still must see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Okay. Bloop. Let's just whoop. Does that mean they just kind of seen her there? Oh, splendid, splendid! I also ravish the necklace. I'm awash in joy. Note. Oh? Hmm? Disco party! Woo! Ah! Boozum, I mean, bonjour. Oh, oh my word! Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? My, well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed, heart. Why is everyone swooning over Mario? I, um, <laughs> I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grab you and give you a little sugar, heart. Oh, no, 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 no. Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Bucker up, Ron! <laughs> and thus Mario died. Game over. Walkthrough's over. <laughs> oh, he's okay. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? It's the very same crystal stars spoken of, all, of by all the lowlifes in Norport. Hmm, a danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. Oh, absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare, that plus moustache of yours has completely sued me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say, I'll be joining you on this adventure! Woo! Flurry has joined the party! Oh, I was a little bit early there. <laughs> Yeah! Let's see what she's got. So... 
This might be exactly what we need to get into the great tree. Observe. What could you do with a little gust of wind at your will? Well, I guess we'll be able to see later. That's uh, a Snorlax move right there. <laughs> Just imagine getting body slammed by a Snorlax. I would just... Wow. <laughs> it's happened before in the anime. It has happened. This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the creep tree. Yes, sirree. Let's do that in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.